Jed here to provide a quick overview of the in-session experience of GoToTraining. When I say in-session, that applies to what happens after you've clicked the link to join the training. Even though this will be a brief overview, we've got additional resources for you in the description. It is highly recommended that organizers and co-organizers use the Goto Desktop app when hosting a training session. I'll be using that for this video. When it comes to joining a Goto training session, there are a few different ways that can be done. More than likely, after you've registered for an event, you'll join by clicking the button, like you see here, in an email message. You'll then be asked if you want to join this session by downloading the Goto Desktop app or through your internet browser. There are two other options for how to join a session if you're using the Goto Desktop app. If the session organizer has given it to you, enter the training ID number here to join. Also, if you've integrated your Google or Office 365 calendar with the desktop app, you can click on the appropriate link in the upcoming training section. I've already signed in with the GoTo Desktop app as the user Lan Bingham and previously clicked the link to start a training session as the organizer. This screen is where you can double check things before actually joining the session. From here you can edit your display name and choose to enable or disable your microphone and camera. The display window reflects what will be shown to others in the session. Be sure to enable the audio setting if you want to speak and hear others during the session. If using your computer audio, select from the drop down list the appropriate microphone and speakers. If you would rather call in using your phone however, click here to find the information that you'll need to join the session. When you're ready, click this button to either start or join the session. You've now joined a training session. If you need to change the status of your microphone or camera, here's where they can be turned on or off. Click the arrow on the share button. When it comes to sharing, there are two main parts. You can share documents, video links, and files, or you can share your screen with others. Take note of the option to pause sharing if needed. If sharing your screen, you can decide if you want to share everything that is seen on a specific monitor or limit it only to a certain application like a web browser. There is an option to share system audio if desired. Lance is now sharing his screen. What we are seeing right now is from his viewpoint and is considered the regular layout. The screen that is being shared will be surrounded with a green border. As a presenter, you'll want to experiment with the view drop-down list to find the layout you prefer. Regular attendees will also want to experiment with these options when a screen is being shared with them to find their favorite layout. As a presenter, you also have other layout options. Click the Flexible Layout button in the bottom right corner. In this layout, attendees are shown in a separate area and have a smaller panel featuring all of your controls. You'll even find some additional buttons here, like being able to use drawing tools during a session. To return to the previous layout, click the Merge button. If you are the training organizer or co-organizer and have created surveys, polls, or tests, click this button to launch those. Training organizers can record the session and pause and resume as needed. The React button allows you to virtually raise your hand or provide a quick emoji reaction that others can see. Click this session info icon in the top left corner to see information about the training, like the nine digit ID. If you're the organizer or co-organizer, click the attendee engagement button. This section allows you to see stats related to session attendance and activity participation.
As mentioned earlier, if you want to change your camera feed viewer position, click the View Options drop-down list. Now let's talk about the icons in the top right corner. And we'll start with the people icon. The people icon is a full attendee list. You can manage attendees here. This is where you can break out attendees into groups. Let's move on to chat. The chat option allows you to send messages to the entire group or a specific person. Next up is materials. If you have uploaded materials for this session, like documents, you'll find them in this section. Finally, let's check out settings. Previously, we chose our audio devices and camera. If you need to change those during a session, you can do so from the settings section within the audio and camera tabs. Click the general tab. The results here will vary depending on if you are the training organizer or not. You'll find different options here that apply to how you want to view the session and if applicable, you'll have the option to grant or permit certain actions of other attendees. When you're ready to exit, click the leave button. If you're the organizer or co-organizer, you can then decide if you want to end the meeting for everyone in attendance or only for yourself. That concludes this in-session overview of GoToTraining.